We want to start with developing news out of the state capitol. Governor Henry McMaster has been diagnosed with COVID-19 and right now lawmakers across the state and nation are reacting. News 2's Katie Turner has heard from several of them. She joins us now. Katie, first of all, how is the governor feeling right now? Hey, Sophia, we're told he's doing all right. According to the governor's office, he's experiencing mild symptoms, including a cough and slight fatigue. We do know that McMaster will be receiving an antibody treatment from an outpatient hospital, but he's said to be in good spirits and continuing his work from home. Now, this news comes with less a week after we learned that South Carolina's first lady Peggy McMaster tested positive for the virus. We know now that they'll both be isolating for the next 10 days, and the first family is urging everyone to be extra careful over the holidays. Meanwhile, well wishes are coming in from lawmakers across the state and country. U.S. Senator Tim Scott tweeted his prayers for a swift recovery are with South Carolina's first family. And Lindsey Graham says he's wishing Governor McMaster a speedy recovery from COVID-19. I spoke with South Carolina Representative J.A. Moore, who says his thoughts and prayers are with the governor and his wife as they face the reality that many others in the state have. The McMaster family, as they have contracted covid uh, the tens of thousands, just like tens of thousands of South Carolinians. Uh, this is a sobering day here in South Carolina um, where we realize how important this virus is. The governor's office says there's no way to pinpoint precisely when or how Governor McMaster or the first lady contracted the virus, but state health officials say no one who he has been in contact with recently needs to be concerned. For now in studio, I'm Katie Turner. Count on two.